Hi Virgo, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get you some important messages that you need to hear today. And please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important messages important messages that Virgo need to hear today. Knight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. Three of Swords. Page of Cups. The Hermit, Four Wands, Two of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the World in Love First. Okay. Um, Virgo, the first thing I saw was, Spirit's trying to tell you to slow down on spending, because the Nine of Pentacles is a very slow energy, so slow down on spending, because Four of Pentacles here is in love first, and the King of Wands and Lovers can indicate don't take any actions in spending excessively or spending unnecessarily, okay? Uh, today or tomorrow, day after tomorrow, <laughs> um, because with the Three of Swords here, um, feels like if you overspend um if you overspend you are you, you will have to face <laughs> the consequences i'm also a virgo okay but i don't see it as like such a big deal to be honest with you and especially with the four wands here um feels like don't overspend on things around your house or vanity i'm seeing a wreath here something in regards to your vanity <laughs> um like you know buying clothes or whatnot and i'm also a virgo i like to buy clothes but um just slow down that's all i'm not saying that you can't spend and or that you shouldn't spend at all just slow down mm. and also spending money on friends another thing that's uh, that i'm getting here and uh, when it comes to love, Virgo, with the Nine of Pentacles, you have Three of Swords and the Four of Wands. There's definitely an individual here. This person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. This person could have gone home. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Especially if they are a foreigner and they've gone home and you've met them either uh, in another country. This part is very specific and it's just for some of you. This person is very sad that they have to go home. Uh, or that both of you will have to be separated because one person is leaving or it could be you leaving okay you you're going home instead so again it could go vice versa like that um that's just for some of you but for a lot of you virgo through this can indicate that this one person home is very heartbroken in regards to you this person is moving very slowly towards you and with the four wands, they're thinking about um, they're thinking about reconciling with you. This person could be your twin flame, but also um, four wands and the nine of pentacles. For some of you, if you've you're currently connected with someone, it does feel like if it's someone relatively new, this person may have been heartbroken in the past. Hence, they're moving very slowly towards you and making the connection official. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. Unless this is you moving slowly towards someone um, because of, you know, bad experiences in the past, okay? So, Four of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Cups in reverse, Two of Cups. So, this for me indicates that someone is going to reach out to you, okay? Some of you, this could be a best friend, a friend from your past, Um this, your friend may be reaching out to you or this could be someone you were romantically linked to in the past okay this person four pentacles in reverse is going to um express how they feel about you maybe there has been something that they've been keeping inside and uh, now they are ready okay they're coming in i feel that like this person is going to 
um, send you a message or call you and they would like to have this conversation with you with the two of cups here in hopes that both of you could reconnect yep that's what i'm getting here so for some of you maybe ask for some help financially someone may ask you for help financially okay so we've got and this person will be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. And also we've got the fire sign here, which is the King of Wands in one first. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person has been reflecting over you, over this connection. And this is someone who has walked away from you, okay? Mm, but for some of you, Virgo, this is you, the Hermit. Some of you may still have somebody that you've been thinking about. Like, how are they doing? Maybe this person is not doing anything, as in they're not reaching out to you. They're not taking any actions towards you. So I feel like some of you could be considering walking away from this person for good. And for some of you, you've already walked away from this person, okay? But this could also be the same exact person, I feel, who would be reaching out to you, okay? And it feels like there's this energy of maybe by the time they reach out to you, you, you have already, you know, moved on. And the world here is in love first. I'm going to pull out more cards. Okay, there's someone here who could be feeling really stuck, right? Um, because they see you as a nine of pentacles. You are... You probably, you know, have everything or almost everything that they look for in a partner. And Ten of Wands here is in one verse. You may have chosen you, yourself, right, Virgo? You've chosen yourself. You've chosen to be independent, to be self-sufficient. You're unwilling to carry any burden from anybody. That doesn't serve your highest good, okay? Um, I'm hearing deplete. Some of you, they deplete your energy. Some of you... Uh, it's like they deplete your money, having, you know, invested time, effort into a certain person um, or a certain connection, okay? But I definitely see someone finding it real hard to move on from you, but not actually doing anything about it. But definitely thinking about moving slowly towards you and to um, speak with you, have this conversation with you. Again, this could be a friend or it could be an ex Hmm. For some of you Virgo, it's like the world in reverse can decay. For those Virgo who has been single for a very long time, I just feel like there's this energy of when am I going to meet this person? When am I going to meet the love of my life, my soulmate? You know, I've been single for way too long now. <laughs> that's what I'm getting here. But if that's the case for you, Virgo Spirit is definitely saying to go out, mingle, and don't get stuck. Because <clears throat> the world here is in reverse. So don't get, don't get stuck in the same routine over and over again. Just do something different. Go out, okay? And don't think of love as something very burdensome. Um, just kind of go with the flow. That's what I'm getting here. And... To embody this, you know, um, I wouldn't say childish, but to embody this childlike spirit in this page of cups that I'm seeing here. And be a little bit less serious because the hermit can be quite serious and way too wise sometimes. <laughs> it's good, it's good, but, um, but in this case virgo for those of you if you've been single for a very long time because i do see for some of you you've been single for a very long time you've just been waiting here the hermit but if you've been isolating yourself or being way too wise or moving too slowly um then it'll be harder for you to meet your person okay your romantic your potential romantic partners so i'm gonna pull out more cards here So you got the Queen of Wands in reverse, King of Cups, and Six of Cups in reverse. There is another ind individual here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person feels like there is no return. Um, perhaps because you're not really Queen of Wands in reverse, you're not really paying attention to this person. Although they are suppressing their feelings, but they do know that 
they have feelings for you this person may have even fallen in love with you but some of you this could be someone relatively new that's what i'm getting here um maybe both of you had a talk mm. Maybe both of you had a talk and you have said something where you could have, I feel like you could have said you you need some time, you need a break. I don't know who this person is. It could be, this person be, rom you could be romantically linked with or it could be a friend, okay? You may have said that you wanted some space. Uh, this person does have um, deep emotions for you. They, they do care about you um, more than they like to admit. That's what I'm getting here. So we've got the king and the queen of wands. Both are in reverse here. There is a, um, a connection here. You between someone. Uh, both of you are not speaking with each other right now. And the world here in reverse feels like everything is on a standstill between you and this person, right? For those of you, if you have a child or children with a certain someone, I don't know whether it's you or this person. There's some issues in regards of this person not seeing the child or the children okay and that's what i'm getting here oh let me see we've got the nine of cups ace of cups in reverse and the okay so someone is going to someone you rejected in the past or they have rejected you in the past this person is returning taking actions towards you um this is what they've been wanting to do or you've been wanting them to do so that's gonna happen i feel that's gonna happen this person is going to um express to you how they truly feel about you i feel like they're gonna pour their hearts out yep this person could, again again could be a fire sign aries sagittarius leo and could also be a pisces cancer or a scorpio um i feel like if this is for those of you virgos if you've been waiting to hear from this person this person is coming in. You're going to hear from this person. It feels like it could be your wish or it could be their wish to speak with you again or to or to return. Because there's a reconciliation energy. But for some of you, Virgo, you might just reject this offer, okay? You might just reject this offer. Because the six of cups is in reverse and ace of cups is in reverse. So some of you, you, you may end up saying, I'm, I'm all good. Nine of cups and nine of pentacles here. I'm all good and uh, I'm good being without you in my life. That's what I'm getting here. And also I've got the page of pentacles here. Yep, this person is definitely going to reach out to you. You could also be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. Again, when it comes to career, money, there could be a new opportunity. Some good news in regards of, you know, a little bit of a raise because page is small or some acknowledgement um, or someone presenting you an idea or you presenting to someone an idea that is uh, actually a really good I idea. Some of you could be starting something new. Little money, not a lot of money, but it looks like it could potentially grow into something more. And that's what I'm getting here. 1313, Virgo, check out your angel number. So with the temperance here, this indicates patience. So um, spirits could be encouraging you to be very patient. Whatever you've been waiting for, a decision that you're making to just not be hasty. And if somebody... Uh, or if you're waiting for somebody to reach out to you to offer you something here, it's definitely saying to be patient and focus on your own well-being first. We've got the Six of Swords here. Some of you, I do sense your health improving. Your health could be improving because you may have decided to uh, drop something. <laughs> we all have our poison, right? Drop one of your poisons. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here, whatever it could be, okay? and um that's definitely good that's definitely good and six of swords here see again there's someone returning here you may have one or two people for all i know virgo even three people okay some people who may have done you wrong three of swords here they're gonna apologize um obviously mercury is, uh, is still retrograding until the second of october so you may be hearing a lot of apologies from people who have wronged you in the past but also, there's a chance for somebody wanting to uh, get back together with you, reconciling with you um, romantically or friendship-wise. 
I definitely see that and six of swords some of you could be thinking about traveling and eight of cups here some of you are leaving your home okay you could be thinking about leaving your home and just go travel or relocating and some of you may not even think about going back to your original home or country that's just for some of you okay but I don't really see your pay, your hard work pay, is paying off with the Knight of Pentacles here to the Nine of Pentacles. Your work is, your work will pay off. I feel like um, money will be less burdensome for a lot of you, because maybe some of you may have saved some money. Um, but Spirit also could be encouraging you to save your money and don't spend again excessively, else you come back to square one. That's what I'm getting here. But overall, Virgo, in this reading, I feel like for those of you, um, again, it just feels like a lot of people from the past are going to try and return and apologize, apologize or wanting to reconcile. But also I see you rejecting them. Some of them you may just, you know, two of pentacles here, you may weigh pros and cons, whether you want to reconcile with them or not, or that you're going to make them wait. Okay, you're going to delay uh, replying to the messages or delay seeing them um, because you need time to think first with the hermit here. So you're going to, you're not going to be too hasty or spirits could be encouraging you not to be hasty and let them wait. See how patient they are. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. But also there's an energy here where there could be a proposal from somebody whom is, um, whom has a secret crush on you yeah this person may want to see you but you you doubt with the hermit here it's like you doubt whether you should see this person okay i definitely see a lot of people reaching out to you soon okay virgo maybe some of them have already reached out to you but a lot of card cards here for me that indicates a lot of offers somebody or oh, a couple of people three people perhaps could be wanting to express how they feel about you but I like that you're standing tall, you know, Virgo. I like that you're standing tall here with the Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit. And the Hermit essentially is you. And that you've been through a lot in your life, Virgo. And you've, um, you, you have a lot of experiences, I feel, that could have turned you into the Hermit here. So the Hermit is the wisest energy, right, in the entire deck. So you have become really, really wise. And you understand that with the Nine of Pentacles here that... You can only rely on yourself. You can only love yourself. You can only invest in yourself because you will not leave yourself. Other people will leave you at one point in time. A connection, connections that may not have, may not be a long lasting connection. Understanding the fact that people come in and out of our life. Uh, sometimes they come into a life for a season, sometimes for a lifetime. But I feel like Virgo, through your past experiences with the hermit here, you you know you 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 know um kind of what to expect for some reason it's like expecting for the worst i feel like that's only because you know some of you could be feeling a bit jaded um because of past experiences but or past trauma but it's good for you i see you standing tall nine of pentacles you're making wise decisions or if you if that's not what you're doing it's could be in, um encouraging you to do so okay and so, with the Nine of Pentacles, I, I do see people's, people, these people, whoever who is going to reach out to you and offer you love. There's definitely an, a love offer, a reconciliation offer, an apology. All of these are coming in, I feel like, because they see your worth and your value. Um, for some of you, you give really good advice. You may have supported your friends in some way, shape, or form. And they may have done something wrong to you and you may have cut them off. And now they're realizing without you, they have nobody to turn to. That's one That's one scenario I'm seeing here. Definitely there's a friend from your past who's going to um, apologize to you. But also love interests, right? A couple of, two or three other love interests here. Especially for those of you Virgos, if you've been actively dating a couple of people here. I sense them actually either starting to fall in love with you, one of them, or wanting 
wanting to propose something okay page of pentacles wanting to see you wanting to be intimate with you it's all over the place virgo have you been connecting with more than one person lately um you can comment in the in the comment boxes down below <laughs> if this is your story yeah but money looks good again as long as you don't overspend and spending spend spending your money unnecessarily okay Virgo, this is your reading hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below i'll leave you with two playlists on the screen right now the first one is from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel check it out if you want to and the second playlist is from this channel has all of the readings that i've done for you and for the rest of the signs for different topics different questions but these readings are still new so they're still relevant um <clears throat> again check it out if you want to and i hope to see you back here again um tomorrow take care virgo bye